Hi, this is Carl here, and uh, Tom Sullivan's with me. And um, one of the things we've been doing a little bit of lately is uh, witnessing going door to door around neighborhoods. And uh, a few people have asked kind of how we go about doing that, and so I just thought we'd record this little video. And uh, we've got three different ways that we've uh, been going around about doing this. The first, the first method is is something that we learned actually from Brad Aldrich with Cross Pollination Ministries. And uh, Brad had come down to Dallas, and uh, Tom and I uh, met with him in, uh, in a training situation. And uh, what we did there was we went door to door with the intention of gathering prayer requests. And um, we then had a prayer meeting back at the church. And so we would go to the door, ring the doorbell, ask if they had any prayer requests. They would generally give us some kind of generalized prayer request or, or for a distant family member or friend or something and then we would get a little more you know is there some way we could pray for you and uh, they would you know sometimes share something sometimes not um, but then uh, then we ended up with an opening to the gospel by either you know just asking them if they had a church home or telling them that we were doing evangelism training and asking if we could dialogue with them so I just thought you know, Tom, maybe you could share a few words about how that uh, experience was. It was an interesting experience, and you know we had a lot of really good uh, conversations with people because when you ask about prayer requests, then people obviously start thinking about spiritual matters in their lives and you know how they are with God. So we had some very good experiences with that. We got some great prayers. We filled out you know on a pad uh, just, just some basic information. And, um, you know, of course, we got the usual things where some people just don't want to talk about spiritual matters, so it was kind of offensive to a few. And, uh, you know, we do expect that that does happen in any situation like this. So, and then, you know, of course, uh, an important fact, uh, way of doing this prayer request uh, evangelizing is to go back later and have a knock on the door save the prayer request several weeks later go back don't say anything to them up front about this but go back and then ask them you know what results they've had from our praying and uh, you know if anything else has come up and when we did that uh, Carl and I went back and did that visit and we had some very good reports people had actually had some healing of people who had been ill in their family in some cases there were two or three people in the family that we were praying for uh, you know, of course, you don't you don't reach everybody the second time, but you know, it, was, it was a very good experience for all. And one lady, you know, we couldn't stop talking enough. So, uh, you know, that's been, I think, a very good thing for for those that we visited with. Yeah, I remember that uh, that that follow up that we did, and and Brad had suggested that we go back three weeks later, which is what we did, and then we just went back and said, hey, we're having another prayer meeting, and. Uh, just wanted to see if we can get an update on your prayer requests, and, and there were some some really amazing um, answered prayers in that in that time. Um, one of the things that we've thought about doing, we haven't haven't really done this yet, but is if you divided up your neighborhood, you could maybe hit ten houses this week, ten houses the next week, and then the following week you got now you're on your third week. You could go back for the follow up prayers with them, and then hit ten more, and you could work your way around the neighborhood. So that's just some ideas on how you could use a, a prayer meeting to go door to door and, and uh, witness to people. The second method that we've used, and actually uh, we were out this weekend doing this, is uh, Craig Boswell, who's a partner in a ministry with us, uh, his church was having a movie night. And so we went uh, door to door and uh, handed out movie tickets to invite the neighborhood to come to the, uh, to the movie. And uh, along with that, then once we, you know, we just come up and say, hi, we're with this church, like to invite you to this uh, movie night and um, that would also give us an opportunity to talk to them about the gospel by asking them you know do you have a church home and that then opened the door to uh, to uh, spiritual conversation with them and uh, we had a lot of good conversations with people um, obviously you could do the same thing with inviting people to VBS or uh, any other event that's going on at your church so um, Tom did you have some thoughts on how that went yesterday? Yeah, I thought it went rather well and you know sometimes just by opening the door the fact that you're talking about a church event 
then you can ask people, you know, especially if you see some religious object in their, you know, entryway, and many times people will have that, you can ask them about what their faith is, you know, where they place their trust, you know, what do they think about life, and you know, after life, so it just it gives a great opportunity, and then you can share the gospel, full gospel, and we had one, one young man who spent 25 minutes talking to us about his spiritual life, and, you know, we were explaining to him. Uh, Todd explained a lot about you know what it takes to be saved, and that I think made a great impact upon him. So that was, I think it was just a great session. Oh, that's great. And then the third thing that we've uh, this is not something we've actually done yet, but we've heard of people doing it um, is is going and uh, basically doing a spiritual survey. And uh, Living Waters used to have a, a track that you could buy. It was a, on a pad of paper. And it had a, a list of uh, questions. It was actually called the intelligence test. So it had these different questions, and it basically starts out in a in a natural realm, asking questions, and then eventually gets down to things like, do you do you think God exists? Um, is there a heaven and a hell? And those kind of things. And then obviously the the survey is designed to lead you right into that spiritual conversation. And so um, you know we happen to have some of these uh, surveys left that we could go use, uh, or design your own uh, survey. Um, but those are, um, that's another idea of how you could go uh, door to door through the neighborhood and, uh, and witness to people. You know, the, I think the important thing to remember is the gospel is the power to salvation. However we can get that message to people, um, you know, let's, uh, let's all get together, let's go do it. Um, thanks for listening. Have a great day. God bless.